Hello and welcome back to Toadstool Tarot. I received in the mail a gift. It was a, uh, I won a drawing from um, Justin Michael. He has a fairly new uh, YouTube channel, Tarot Tube channel. And uh, this was the prize for winning the draw. It is the Tarot, the Marseille Arcana from um, Flame Tree Publishing. There's not much information on the box. It's the uh, Nicholas Conver Marseille Tarot, but it doesn't say that anywhere except, I believe, on the Two of Coins card. I'm not sure if it says it in the little white book. There is a little white book. It's sort of your standard fare. Not too much about a sentence for each card in there. Um, I'm going to show you the uh, the ISBN barcode on the bottom in case. Hope, hopefully you can pick that up if you're interested in finding this deck. Maybe the Maybe this will help you. I did do a search, I believe, for Tarot of the Marseille Arcana Flame Tree Publishing, and I think it did come up. Uh, before I get into the, the cards, I'll show you. He also included this little bonus, these bonuses in there. One is a little studded... Uh, cat pin, like an enamel pin with a cat with a moon on its forehead. And the other is six tarot magnets with uh, magnets of um, the Wheel of Fortune from Fantastical Tarot, Crystal Visions, Universal Weight, Deviant Moon, Connolly, and Sun and Moon. So, that's kind of fun. Probably put those on my refrigerator or maybe my apartment door, which is metal. So let's look at the cards. Um, they are um, glossy, reasonably stiff, you know, just sort of average, I guess. Pretty backs, not entirely reversal, reversible. You can see there's a sort of bell-like or cup-like part of the pattern that would make them not totally reversible. But at a glance, you probably wouldn't notice the difference if you reverse them. So, um, the, they're handsome, but, you know, rather simple, you know. Um, the color palette is a, a, a little bit on the pale side. Very basic, but that might be all you're looking for in a Marseille tarot. I'm not a Marseille collector, per se. I have, I think, three decks, and they're all... None of them are, strictly speaking, traditional. Well, one of them is, except even that one, the coloration is a little off. So this is, this is probably my most traditional one representation and um, you know every tarot collector probably needs one standard sort of Marseille deck so maybe this is the one for you maybe not who knows depends on whether these particular drawings or color coloration appeal to you I don't know if my eyes are going or my camera is going. These don't look like they're coming out really sharp. But hopefully there's enough here for you to see and decide if this is a deck for you. To be honest, most Marseille decks 
look very much alike to me. I'm hard pressed to tell the difference from one to the next. Now we're into the pips, and one thing I noticed about this deck, and I'm not sure why, the coins are not numbered, but the other suits are. I don't know if that's unusual. This is how I knew it was the Convert deck, it says on the two of coins. Not sure if it says, it doesn't say so on the box, I'm not sure if it says so anywhere in the little white book. But, um, see on this one, you wouldn't know which is up and which is down direction-wise without the numbering, unless you know more about Marseille than I do. Maybe there's something specific about the arrangement that would tell you that's the top. This one I can sort of see it because of the shield. That's kind of readily apparent to me. Let's see, here's another one. I guess you know. It goes that way. The color palette of this deck is largely red and gray. Well, the coins have more yellow in them, but... It's kind of a conservative little uh, Marseille deck, I think. Swords. See here what I mean by red and gray. Not much blue or green in this deck. Go a little quicker through the swords and the other pips because I think the arrangements and depictions are pretty traditional or similar to other Marseille decks. And we have the wands, and the ace is a green wand, or club, baton, rather. And now you see the numbering on these, but there's no more green, the rest are red and gray. a little bit longer on the court card so you can see the expressions. Then we have the cups. Touch, a touch of green there. Then we're back to gray and red with more yellow in the cups than the other other uh, pips and we do have the numbers back again here
we go. Um, I can't remember. I'm sure I must have said this is this was a subscriber gift from a, a prize drawing from Justin Michael, and I will try to put a link to his channel below. If I didn't say that already so you can find it and subscribe and I will see you all again next time thank you and thank you Justin and uh, see you all soon <laughs>